protect your DNA. BioPQQ can promote formation of new mitochondria. InfoWarsStore.com Well, I think it's safe to say we are watching this election being rigged right before our very eyes. Now, obviously, we could say that with a nomination process, as well as the latest polls that have just come out. We'll have more on that coming up later. But now we're watching the media engage in an all-out assault on the democratic process. They have thrown their objectivity out the window, all in an effort to dump Trump. So now this, the new establishment smear campaign is to declare that Trump is mentally unfit to be the president. And this is, of course, despite all signs pointing to the fact that Hillary is mentally incapacitated. So this campaign began with Barack Obama declaring Trump unfit to serve. And then there was another petition launched by California Democratic Rep Karen Bass demanding that Trump undergo a mental health evaluation, um, saying, you know, he appears to exhibit all the symptoms of the mental disorder, narcissistic personality disorder, which that goes for most people who are in politics, most people in positions of power. You kind of have to be a narcissist. I mean, but he's not mentally unfit. This man is an incredibly successful entrepreneur. He's raised a really beautiful family who seem to be, you know, pretty well put together. And then now the DC Whispers blog is actually confirming that there is indeed a smear campaign uh, attack to declare Trump mentally incompetent. It's in full swing. And it notes that these forces don't need actual medical verification of their claims. They just want to have it confirmed within the court of public opinion. And this is what we're seeing the media doing as well. We're seeing a lot of people on Twitter now going on with this narrative. Um, and they're kind of saying that some G GOP insiders are hoping that this will be enough to force Trump to drop out. And they're, the Daily Caller is reporting that there still are some inside the GOP that are working actively to replace him. So we're also seeing this running alongside another media hoax, which of course they are saying Donald Trump might drop out of the race. Now, Alex Jones broke this down a little earlier today. Ladies and gentlemen, the dirty tricks have now gone to the next level. The controlled media came out yesterday and said there are rumors from the Republican leadership and rumors from other sources that Donald Trump is going to drop out. There are rumors uh, that he's mentally ill. There are rumors that his children are against him. All of it lies. This is just like what we saw in Iowa. Whenever Carson was neck and neck or ahead of Cruz, and then they announced, as soon as they knew he'd gotten on his airplane to fly to the next state, as soon as it was like six o'clock at night, that he had dropped out of the race so that another 10% or so would swing themselves to Cruz, which they did do, so he got a second place showing. It was a big scandal when that happened, but notice there's no scandal now because the mainstream media as a whole lies together and says, did you hear Donald Trump's dropping out? Also, we've seen Reuters and others put out polls where they admit they sample 10 to 15% more Democrats in the poll. So they go out and they sample 65% Democrats or 60% Democrats in Democrat-held areas already and then skew it that Hillary's 10 points ahead. That's how they got rid of the 10-point lead that Donald Trump had just a week and a half ago. Then they tell you it's all happening because of what he's done. All of this anonymous as well. Well, I'm going to anonymously tell you something. Hillary Clinton's got a brain tumor the size of a watermelon. And Hillary Clinton's going to drop out of the race tomorrow at high noon. And Hillary Clinton also um, is a Chinese jet pilot for Pluto. See, none of that's true. But see, I could go and say that that was the case. Maybe I will just to educate people on how they're being conned and manipulated. Because this so-called media that we're fighting with is not real. It is total criminal scientific fraud. It isn't liberal bias. It is designed to absolutely turn this country against ourselves. I'll be on the radio in a couple hours, 11 a.m. Central, with big breaking news, Infowars.com. Be there. And a contributor to the L.A. Times admits that the media is ditching its objectivity to attack Trump. Uh, this is the L.A. Times contributor, Justin Romano. He said that the media attacking Trump may soon find themselves covering Trump's inauguration because the public's trust in the mainstream media is at an all-time low. He says any objective observer of the news media's treatment of Trump can certainly conclude that reporters are taking a side in this election, and they don't have to be wearing a button that says, I'm with her, for this to be readily apparent. 
The irony is that the media's Trump bashing may wind up having the exact opposite of its intended effect. Of course, we saw that same exact thing happening uh, in the UK with the Brexit vote. There was all this hype and it had the exact opposite effect. Polls, of course, show that journalism is one of the least respected professions in the country. And of course, Trump is doing a really good job calling out the media organizations for their bias. Widespread slanted reporting, it's bound to reinforce this point and to backfire. And of course, these continued media attacks against Donald Trump and their obvious bias are really just working to expose their true agenda, which is to maintain the establishment's new world order. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything, from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. And blood is spilling regularly as the engineers of order out of chaos draw nearer and nearer to the heart of civilization with every intention of snuffing it out. These mad children of Albert Pike's nightmare world war prophecy, ruling us all from their pampered hubris ridden existence. Donald Trump quickly becoming the symbol of America's growing desperation of escaping a new world order has yet again been targeted by another globalist puppet's ivory tower. Bloomberg writes, French President Francois Hollande expressed extreme revulsion at Donald Trump's excesses and warned against the authoritarian tone adopted by the Republican nominee and billionaire reality television celebrity. Olan said, in the US, one of the world's greatest democracies, maybe the greatest democracy, where democracy was born before the French one, we see some excesses that are sickening. Hollande added as if sick to his stomach, when Trump speaks ill of a soldier, of the memory of a soldier. Who on earth are these marionettes of Illuminism to even consider calling out Donald Trump and essentially once again twisting his statements? Olan defends a man with Muslim Brotherhood ties, Kazir Khan, chomping at the bit to bring in an anti-constitutional Sharia law into the United States, while Olan's own country is under regular attack by the radical jihadists he pretends he can't stop. Do you know any major Arab ally that embraces ISIL? I know major Arab allies who fund them. And Hillary and Obama, ignoring the families affected by the criminal decisions surrounding Benghazi, ignored for years, only to be mentioned in speeches as a final insult to those families, the military, and the American people. Bull feathers. That's just plain old bull. I know what she said, and not only did she say it, but Obama said the same thing to me, and Panetta, and Biden, and, and Susan Rice. I went up to all of them, begging them to tell me what happened. And they, they all said that it was the video, mm -hmm. every one of them. Or the lawsuit Obama filed in Ohio, when 15 Ohio military groups went to court to oppose an offensive lawsuit that challenged a law allowing military members to vote on days when the rest of the state cannot. Or how about Obama's depletion of the military, to the point to which, as WorldNet Daily writes, the U.S. military is shedding so many troops and weapons, it is only marginally able to defend the nation and falls short of the Obama administration's national security strategy, according to a report from February of 2015 from the Heritage Foundation. Do I think that uh, our actions in any way violate the War Powers Resolution? The answer is no. President Obama. What part of Commander-in-Chief do you not understand? It is you and your understudy, Hillary Clinton, that are unfit to be president. John Bound for Infowars.com. Now, obviously, whenever Trump makes an outrageous comment, it gets 24-7 coverage in the news. But for some reason, the media is curiously silent on Trump calling Hillary the founder of ISIS. So this was uh, said on Wednesday, Trump said that she should get an award from Islamists for founding the Islamic State, claiming her policies as Secretary of State precipitated the group's formation. Of course, the crowd went wild, locking, uh, chanting, lock her up. He was drawing on a list of all the flaws in U.S. policy in Libya and the Middle East, laying all the blame on his opponent, Clinton. He said it was Hillary Clinton. She should get an award from them as the founder of ISIS. That's what it was, her weakness, her weak policies. 
So, but in uh, WikiLeaks actually has come out even further. Julian Assange has revealed that the U.S. Uh, Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton actually earned $100,000 while she was director of a company tasked to arm the rebels in Syria. This was in an interview with Democracy Now! Uh, he said that while she was secretary of state, she was also the director of the French company Lafarge, which was handling the U.S.'s secret mission in Syria that aimed to topple the government of Assad. Uh, he said Hillary's hacked emails include info on Hillary arming the rebels in Syria, which of course ultimately became the Islamic State militant group. He said there is proof within those emails she knowingly armed jihadists, and also the contents of those emails will confirm that Clinton dismissed the reluctance of Pentagon officials to overthrow Gaddafi, uh, they, and they also predicted the possible outcome of the war in Libya. This is what we're witnessing today. So there you go, reckless Hillary is gonna be reckless as president as well, and she is going to be putting the security of this nation uh, under threat. And now we're seeing, of course, that the media is still trying to push that con angle, but people are fighting back now, right there, live on CNN. So CNN really kept pushing for the uh, Benghazi victim's father to say, shouldn't Trump apologize to the con? Shouldn't he apologize? Shouldn't? And he flipped the script on him, and he said, you know who really I think should apologize is Hillary Clinton for lying to the American families who lost their loved ones as well as to the American public. She's the one who should apologize. In fact, she's even doubled down and called us liars, which is not appropriate at all because, because she's lying. And then they were like, well, who are you gonna vote for? And he said, you know what, my son would still be alive if Mrs. Clinton was performing her job properly as Secretary of State. So in good conscience, I cannot vote for the person who was directly responsible for the death of my son. There's only two choices. Obviously, I support Donald Trump because for him, national security as well as the economy are the two most important issues voters are gonna to have to decide upon next November. Karen Vaughn, who was the mother of Navy SEAL Aaron Vaughn, who was killed in Afghanistan, she said, you know what, Obama used the death of my son for a photo op when asked, you know, should Trump apologize to the Khan family? She said, when my son was killed, it was one of the largest loss of life in the history of naval special warfare. There were over 30 families at Dover Air Base waiting for our son's bodies to be returned from Afghanistan. The president was specifically asked not to bring any media, to not make this a media event, but lo and behold, he shows up with the camera, and the next day, our pictures, or his picture, saluting the caskets of our boys, was plastered over every outlet in America. So people need to be more outraged by what was done over than someone making a flipping a flippant comment. And indeed, with Hillary, there should be more outrage with Hillary calling these grieving parents liars. We have ended the big mega sale, the biggest in our history. Now, we have kept three items, though, this week. That's Brain Force, while supplies last, the amazing nootropic for $17.76, normally $29. Leading competitors that have similar formulas are $60 to $70 to $80. So we're already a great deal at that price. It has some ingredients that are controlled or prescription in Europe. Uh, that's how powerful it is. Read about it for yourself at InfoWarsLife.com. That's 40% off. DNA Force, our flagship product. It's a big deal to offer 30% off on that. We're extending that. And then Vitamin Mineral Fusion. All the vitamins, all the minerals, the amino acids, the cofactors to help upload it. Great tasting fruit punch. Organically flavored. There's nothing else out there. It's uh, like it. It's amazing. It's plant-derived minerals. InfoWarsLife.com. That's 30% off. But I'm going to go further. Boom. Here it is. Normally you sign up for auto ship you get 10 percent off you still get that on top of it i'm doing free shipping on everything whether it's one hillary for prison shirt or a bill clinton rape shirt uh, or whatever it is whatever informational warfare weapon you want to help spread the word and meet like-minded people free shipping store wide free shipping store wide again ladies and gentlemen you can get 40 percent off on brain force you can get 30 percent off on dna force I'm not going to sit here and belabor this. People should really go read and see the, 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 the hundreds of studies that are there breaking down just what BioPQQ does and, and, and why this is such an amazing nutraceutical and why it's so important that folks take it daily because the compounds in this are just amazing. I mean, you just know they're from God. But I'm not going to get into the science. Go to InfoWarsLife.com. Go there to the page for yourself, and you can check it all out at InfoWars.
life.com and forwardstore.com is the umbrella site and your purchases make it possible everything we do here so i want to thank you all for your support your prayers and so much more we're not even able to post probably half of the reviews that come in and the reason why is because if anyone mentions a disease or they got better from a disease, the third party review sites that we subcontract out to that monitor these reviews, if there's any mention of a disease or anything in there, they, it can't go up online because of the regulations with the FDA. So please feel free to call in as much as, as you want. We love hearing about your stories and this is just DNA for us, but you know, the best thing that I love to do and the best thing I tell people to do is just go online, InfoWarsLife.com, and just read all the reviews.